Lesson 2.5, Make Bar Graphs. We can draw a bar graph to show data given in a table or picture graph. It's very important you saw videos 2.2, 2.3, and 2.4 so you don't become lost or confused. There's important things that each bar graph must have. The first thing it should have is a title with each word capitalized that tells what it's about, what the bar graph is about. The bar graph should have a scale of numbers with a label that tells what the numbers stand for. Here we have our scale along the bottom and it's labeled what they stand for. It's the number of people. It must have bars that match the data. It says blue is 35. Our bar must match that data. And it needs a label that tells about the bar. It tells us these are the colors. See the label right here? We can choose to make our bars vertical or horizontal. Vertical, vertical bars go up from the bottom. Horizontal bars go across from left to right. We choose numbers for our scale so most of the bars will end on a line. Blue ends on a line, red ends on a line, green ends on a line. Yellow doesn't, it's in between, but that's okay because most of the bars end on a line. And since the numbers are 3, 4, 6, and 8, we can use a scale from 0 to 10. So notice it went to 8, but we went another increment. We went another 2, didn't we? We skip counting by 2's. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, so we went to 10. And the bar for 3 will go between 2 and 4. We draw and shade in each bar. We can make a bar graph from data in a tally table. We look at our tally table. We count the tally marks. For blue, we have five, six, seven, eight. For red, we have one, two, three, four. For green, we have five, six, and for yellow, we have three. We can draw the bars in our bar graph. There's eight blue, so we need a bar that will go up to eight for blue. We draw our bar and then we shade it in. Now we need a red one that is equal to four. So we draw our red bar going to the four. Now we shade that one in. Next, we need a green one that's equal to six. We draw our bar and then shade it in. Now we do yellow, it's a three, and we don't have a three on our scale. Three is in between two and four. So we make our bar so that it ends in between the two and the four, and then we shade it in. We make sure we have our title with each word in capital letters. We make sure that our scale makes sense because our numbers were a four, a six, and an eight, we made it the scale skip count by twos. We labeled it the number of people. We have our color labels here, and we have the label that they are colors. We make sure that our data in our bar graph matches the data from the tally table. We have eight for blue, four for red, six for green, and three for yellow. So yes, it's correct. We can make a bar graph from data in a picture graph. Our key tells us that each smile face is equal to two people. So for blue, we skip count by twos, two, four, six, eight, so blue is eight. Red is two, four, so we know that's a four. Green is two, four, six, and yellow has a whole smile face and a half smile face. 
We talked about that when we talked about picture graphs before. If a whole smile face is equal to 2, then half of a smile face must be 1. So we have 2 plus 1, that's a 3. Now we can draw our bars and shade them in for our bar graph. We have 8 for blue, 4 for red, 6 for green, and because there's no 3 on our scale, 3 is in between 2 and 4, our bar for yellow is going to be in between the line for 2 and the line for 4. Here we have our bar graph of favorite colors. How would this bar graph change if the color purple was added? What would change about this bar graph? We would draw another bar over here for purple, and the graph would come out farther, wouldn't it? We would add purple after yellow. If purple is double the number of green, how would the bar graph change? Green is 6. Double 6 is 6 plus 6. That's 12. We would make the scale larger so that we would have a bar for 12. And because it's going up to 12, we would make our scale go up to 14. We would draw our bars and shade them in and purple would be at the line for 12. When we make our bar graphs, the bars can be drawn next to each other like I have here, or they can be evenly spaced like in this bar graph. This bar graph shows birthday of students by month. Our scale is the number of students. It goes from 0 to 12, and Here's the months of the year. See how they're all abbreviated? And depending on how many students had a birthday for that month is how tall the bar is. So as you're making your bar graph, remember that you must have a title with each word capitalized. You need a scale that makes sense. And you need to label the scale for what the numbers stand for. Your bars need to match the data from your table, picture graph, survey, or where you got your data from. You need to label the bars. And your bar graph can be vertical or horizontal. The bars can be drawn next to each other or evenly spaced. We're going to talk about solving problems from bar graphs in the next lesson. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you there. Bye.